Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today's pick a card is your future children. So we have group number one, group number two, and group number three. So this will be about their zodiac signs, possible personality, what they'll be interested in, etc, etc, and possible uh, gender as well. So I want you guys to take 10 seconds to just breathe in and breathe out. And we're just going to relax and see which card you would like to choose. So we're going to take 10 seconds out to see which card you would like. Okay, let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's see what your cards are. My wave is so stupid, I'm like, hello. <laughs> okay, so we have slow and steady wins the race. Be at home. We have, oh, Scorpio. Libra. Aries. And then we also have, you're on the right path. Oop. Sorry about that, guys. Teaching, children, <laughs> children, the irony. We also have vacation, making new friends, positive expectations, letting go, trust your intuition, magic of nature, worthiness. And we also have a treasure chest. Okay, let's put this little guy up here. I feel like for this group, I feel most of you will have boys. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but that's kind of what I'm getting. <coughs> Obviously, you can have a girl from this group as well, but that's kind of like the general energy that I'm feeling. It's mainly boys. So, basically, I feel like you're, the child that you possibly could have would be either a Scorpio, a Libra, or Aries. So, they could be a possible air, water, or fire sign. Um, I do feel like they're going to love marine life. They're going to love... Um, being near the water, they're going to love going to the beach. Um, I feel like when they get older they will want to care for children and they'll probably want to be in a teaching job or a time where they can teach children, um, possibly in nursery or their, their favourite time is probably going to be when they're in nursery. Um, we also have, um, with the fire sign, I feel like they're the way of approaching situations is going to be very kind of not forceful but they're going to kind of know how to go forward they're going to be like i won't say hard-headed either but like basically with the side of aries um they basically just go for what they really really want they just go for it so i feel like this the the child that you have will just go for what they dream and they will love really really well really really hard and really kind of like when I say love hard, I mean it's in a good way. They're going to really, really love um, really deeply. They're going to love really deeply. And if they're going to be a Scorpio of Libra Moon, then they're definitely going to love very, very deeply, okay? Um, so this is going to be a person who is going to very be, be very intuitive. And they possibly, one of their life lessons is to let go when things don't go their way. Um, they're going to be a child who's going to love nature and they're also going to make loads of friends. Um, I feel like they're going to be a very, very popular child and popular person as they grow up. I think they're going to love to um, travel and go to places that they've never been to before, especially places where there's a lot of nature. I'm getting like Hawaii and things like that. Um, obviously, if some of you live in Hawaii, then obviously that would be a... Um, an extra message for you. We also have worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So I feel like this person who you will, your, your child, I feel like will be um, somebody who kind of gives a message of worthiness to people and says, hey, you're worthy. I'm going to take care of you. I think it's that Libra energy of just very, very caring, very loving. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still sick. <laughs> um, we also have positive expectations. So they're going to be really, really positive. Their life is going to be really positive. Like, they're going to be on the right path. I feel like they may feel like they're not going to be as they get older. Possibly teens into adult life. They may feel like they're not on the right path. But this is like a 20 year <laughs> prediction in the future that they are going to be on the right path, okay? 
Um, and they need to learn that Sly City wins the race. They may rush things. They may be rushing into things quite quickly as they get older. But I feel like um, their life is going to teach them to kind of slow down and to appreciate what's kind of there in the moment. And they're going to love being at home a lot with you. And they're going to love being with family. And basically their life is going to be very, very exciting as we have here with the windfall, uh, windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Um, and the fact that it's un unforeseen windfall kind of makes me think that for some of you guys, this child is going to be, well, your, your child is going to be like an individual who you were like, wow, I'm really, really blessed. Obviously every child is a blessing, but obviously and every mum is kind of like, um, biased of their, their own child. But I feel like you're going to be like, wow, this, this baby is amazing and what a beautiful, gorgeous baby it's going to be and they're going to have a really lovely life i think they're going to be really good at getting all the abundance that they desire and deserve and i feel like they're going to be really good manifestors so thank you so much for um watching this video if this resonated hopefully it will do it in the future at some point then please let me know i would love to know and if you are pregnant right now then please let me know in the future that would be absolutely amazing i know this pick card is kind of unusual but i did want to do it I kept getting, my guys kept saying you need to do this video, so I'm going to do it. Um, I don't normally get messages like that, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. If you would like to like this video, feel free and comment down below if it resonated. If it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. And also, um, if you would like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. I have all my options listed, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here, sorry about my pathetic wave, um, thank you so much for being here, let's see what your future child is going to be like. So we have be generous of spirit, oh we have cancerian, gorgeous, I love this, what a stunning card, cancerian, we also have aquarius, is there two cards there, cancerian and pisces, oh lovely, so we've got two water signs and one air. We have animals, we also have, ouch, <laughs> infinite abundance, sorry guys, I keep moving the camera. Sensitivity, that makes sense with Cancerian. Creative expression, romantic partner, <clears throat> pay attention, and family harmony. With family harmony, that makes total sense, so they're obviously going to be part of your family, which is kind of a given. I'm going to move this back a little bit, guys, just so you can see all the cards. And... I feel like this baby is going to be so cute. <laughs> Obviously, they're all going to be cute. Obviously, all babies are cute. But this baby is going to be really, really cute. Okay, I'm getting boy and girl for this group. I got mainly boy for the last group. I'm getting boy and girl. So they could be Cancerian, Aquarius, or Pisces. So they're going to be very, very watery. Um, they could have all these signs in their chart as well. And... With this, with the fact that you have Cancerian and Pisces, that just goes hand in hand with animals and sensitivity. Like that makes total sense because they're going to be very, very sensitive. They're going to be um, a child who loves animals, loves caring for animals, loves caring for possibly, um, yeah, for other animals. And as they get older, they may care for children as well, or they may, they may want to do teaching or nursing healing that sort of thing so they're going to be very very abundant in their life they're going to be an individual who is going to love life i feel like and they're just going to be they're going to have so many hobbies i feel like they're going to have so many different hobbies that they really really like they're going to ow sorry i keep hitting my elbow um they're going to be really really creative um and this goes hand in hand with being a water sign as being really creative obviously i'm not saying that aquarius aren't <laughs> creative every sign is very creative but mainly water signs are extremely creative okay so they're possibly going to love doing art they may love sketching um they're going to be somebody who's going to be very intuitive obviously very very sensitive so they are basically going to see a lot of signs and synchronicities from a very young age they may not know what these are at first they may see like a feather dropping down and then they're like oh that's a pretty feather but then as they get older, they think, actually, that was like my angels and guides being there with me. So I feel like they're going to be the ultimate 
um as they get older they're going to be the ultimate lover i think from a how oh, sorry i keep hitting my elbow guys i'm sorry as they get older i think even at a young age they're going to want a romantic partner they're going to be like the ultimate mum or dad for their for their children because i feel like they're just going to love to love i think they're going to have they're the sort of kids that have girlfriends and boyfriends at a really young age <laughs> Like when they're like three years old and they just say, oh, I've got a boyfriend, I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> so it's going to be that sort of energy, which is so cute. And then we also have lion spirit, be generous of spirit. So they're going to be really, really connected to spirit. They're going to be very connected to abundance of things coming their way. They're just going to be very, very connected to angels, guides, nature. And I feel like they just have a very good outlook on nature. They're going to be very caring to the environment. And... In terms of this lion, I'm getting the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. And you, I don't know if you, any of you guys know the character of Aslan from um, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, or Narnia. Um, Aslan is just like his energy of that character is just so like generous and kind and um, thoughtful and healing and like grounded. I feel like that's just generally this baby's energy. And we also have family harmony. So they're going to be the ultimate, like they're going to love family. They're going to be so family orientated and that makes total sense being a Cancerian. Um, they may be a child who can be a little bit introverted. Um, and they may have like nightmares because they're so intuitive. They can obviously pick up on spirits and things like that. But it's not going to be a bad thing. I think they're just going to learn to kind of uh, work with spirit. Because I feel like this um this crab um character is kind of hiding from this beast so they may have nightmares they may not like horror films because they're very very sensitive um so they may kind of want to watch very happy films and things like that but yeah i feel like this this um baby is going to be very very cute all these babies are going to be very cute so thank you so much for watching guys if this resonates at some point please let me know if you are pregnant and you are looking at this video thinking about your child and that is absolutely amazing please let me know i would love to know an update that'd be absolutely amazing um if you just enjoyed this video then thank you so much for watching um if you would like to comment down below give this video a thumbs up also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the red button is down below and also if you'd like to get a private reading with me then all the information is down below you can email me or you can message me on instagram so thank you so much and also guys i literally just saw a butterfly out my outside my window <laughs> And they're showing me this card as well with the butterflies and transformation. Just thought I'd let you know. That's basically going to be a little symbol of the baby that's going to come to you. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, and obviously for some of you guys, this is going to be quite far in the future. Just letting you know. But don't worry, guys. Okay, the baby will come when they're ready to come. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Sorry about my pathetic wave. Let's get started. We have time for a deep dive. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Taurus, Virgo, Leo. We then have oracle cards. Let go. Yoga. Energy healing, school, flowers. We then have happily ever after, creative expression, environmental awareness, self reliance, and synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. Perfect. Okay, let's have that as the overall energy right here. So, this baby is going to bring in lots of synchronicities for you. And I feel like this child is going to have a lot of synchronicities, whether they know it or not. As they get older, I think they're going to realise it more. They're going to love oracle cards. I feel like they're going to be somebody who even grows up to be really influenced by oracle cards. Um, you may have oracle cards. You may be a reader yourself. Or you may just in, enjoy watching card readings and you watch them together, you and your child, which is so freaking cute. So we have two earth signs. We have Taurus, Virgo, and we also have Leo, the fire sign. So I feel like for you guys, um, this baby is going to be very grounded. They're going to be very driven and they're going to be, they're going to work really, really hard. Okay. Um, 
So we have Time for a Deep Dive and we also have um, Dream the World into Being. So they're going to be a very deep thinker. Um, they're going to be the, the, movers and the, the movers and the shakers. For some reason they're telling me that. Which is like um, presidents, um, world leaders, gurus, shamans, um, and possibly like monks. So they're going to be those sort of people who are really, really influential. They're going to be extremely lovely people. That they're going to be, they're very, going to be very, very um, spiritual. So they're not going to be um, too political. They're going to be very spiritual. Okay, um, and a lot of these. A lot of the babies in this group, I feel like, are going to grow up to be extremely, de extremely grounded, but also very spiritual. Okay, so we have flowers. So I feel like the baby that you are possibly going to have is going to be very into flowers. Um, their favourite card decks may include having flowers on them, and they may gravitate towards flowers. I feel like the gender could be a boy or a girl in this group. And we also have environmental awareness. They're going to love the environment. And flowers and environment go hand in hand. I mean, they're going to absolutely love the environment. They're going to be very conscious of the environment. They're going to really kind of... Um, they're going to always... I feel like they're going to be like pick up rubbish. If like someone drops something and even as a child they'll be like, excuse me, can you pick up your rubbish? <laughs> you know? And they're really cute. Um, they're going to be very creative. And they're possibly going to be energy healer they might you and this child might do yoga together and uh, they may go to school to do yoga so possibly they're going to do a course on yoga when they get older they could even join you on a course um when they get older i feel like they're going to be really really influenced by you and everything that you do obviously as that's what kind of goes along with having a child but i feel like they're more going to be influenced by all the things that you do in poss possibly like yoga if you do energy healing they're gonna want to do what you want what you like doing um and i feel like they're gonna be very connected to the you as if you're a mother watching this they're going to be connected to you the most rather than their father because i feel like they have a very sensitive side and i feel like they're going to really connect with the the feminine energy that you bring to the table Obviously, if you have more of a masculine energy, that's completely fine. I still think they're going to be the more connected to the mother than the father. But obviously, it's going to be a very good relationship between both, but more connected to the mother. They're also going to be very self-reliant. I don't feel like... I think they're going to be wanting to look at houses when they're like 15, 14, 15, 16. And when they're about 10 years old, I feel like they're going to dream about their like perfect job they're going to want. They're probably going to think, talk to you about children they're going to want. You know, so they're going to be an old soul, I feel like. Um, and they're going to be very productive. They're going to be a child that's always doing something all the time. Very strategic. I feel like a, a lot of these babies are going to be very, 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 very intellectual. Obviously, all babies and everyone is intellectual on each different level. But for this, for this group especially, because we have Taurus and Virgo, I feel like they're going to be very good with numbers. And they're going to be very good with money and income as they get older they're going to be really good at strategic and I feel like it could even help you with your own business and you could possibly even go into business with your own child which is so cute and you could even start a business that has energy healing or yoga you could even have your own studio yoga studio with this child or they could have their own yoga studio and I feel like they may be a little bit stubborn in terms of holding on to things as they get older they're going to possibly learn to let go and know it's okay um, but obviously this is going to be um a time when they're going to learn um how to do that over time and they're also going to love going to school i feel like um for a lot of you guys i feel like for some they may go to school um possibly like a steiner school or a school where it's um more holistic and not so um government based okay so possibly like a private school um a school where they do possibly like meditation and yoga things like that where they're more kind of on this in the spiritual elements okay and also i feel like a lot of the, the children who are what a lot of the children who are going to come out of this group i feel like are going to invest in university and they're going to want their kids to go to university okay and i feel like you're you watching this are going to want your child to go to university and obviously you're going to want the best for them anyway okay so thank you so much for watching guys and um, i feel like before you have your child you're going to know when you're going to have your child because you're going to get synchronicities as well um, and possibly your child may love dolphins and gemstones and things like that. Or you you may, you, you may like, ugh, sorry, I can't speak. You may like 
gemstones and dolphins um but also basically this could be a synchronicity um as to when your baby's gonna come okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up comment down below and if you are pregnant then please let me know uh, when you have the baby if uh this is accurate and obviously if it's not then that's completely fine this is just a um a pick a card just for funsies obviously they're all for funsies um but i feel like this was such a random pick a card for me to do but my spirits angels and guides were just saying Vicky, you need to do this. So I was like, okay, I'll do this. <laughs> so it's not really the sort of one I normally do, but I hope you enjoyed. If this did resonate, hopefully in the future it will, then please comment down below and let me know. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please feel free. Red button is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.